You have to do at least 10 pull-ups even in gym class at school, which is the athletic minimum for a healthy guy. However, even this number of repetitions is not possible for many people. A lot has already been saying about how to increase the number of pull-ups on the chinning bar. There are a number of techniques that allow you to achieve this goal. In this video, we will analyze some of the most effective of them. Talk about the typical problems in doing pull-ups, and make a training plan. So watch this video to the end, it's going to be interesting. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. Quantity or quality, that's the question. Of course, it is possible to increase the number of pull-ups at the expense of quality. For example, by rocking or jerking, but in terms of developing physical qualities it is not progressing at all, but degradation. Because you do more repetitions not due to the fact that your muscles have become stronger or more enduring, but due to the help of physical laws. In most cases, such repetitions don't count. To pull up more times and for the benefit of your own body, and not for the sake of the record you should perform the exercise in pure technique. Here it is necessary to note several points when performing the movement. You do not sway, the pulling up is performed smoothly without jerks. The chin is over the bar not by pulling the neck or other manipulations, but by the work of the broadest muscles of the back and biceps. These are the three main postulates that define the technique. Learn to pull up correctly, if you pull up 50 times, but as if, what's the use? Yes, some exercises on the bar are done jerking specifically to pump the strength of certain muscles. But they are not suitable for training pull-ups. With the technical side of the question, we solved it. But there is another thing that is very important in any case, this willpower and patience. Increasing the number of pull-ups is not a quick process, you must constantly overcome yourself, and force yourself to go to the bar. No technique will help you quickly increase the number of pull-ups. Strength is not a parameter that can be pumped in the short term. So take this question seriously and do not panic if your result does not improve in a week. Muscle development is gradual, it is important not to abandon the started thing halfway. So, the following techniques will help to increase the number of pull-ups. An increase in the number of pull-ups on the chinning bar can be achieved by performing the exercise with a ladder. In this case, it is a reverse ladder. First, you warm up and perform the first approach at maximum. Then you rest for 30 seconds and pull up again at maximum. Then you rest for the same amount of time and repeat the approaches until you can't do any more pull-ups. This method is designed to fatigue the muscles with each workout. The fatigue limit will increase slightly, and eventually, you will be able to gain some extra pull-ups in a couple of weeks. The straight ladder requires longer rest and starts a small number of times. For example, do 5 pull-ups, and rest until you feel ready for the next approach. Add 1 or 2 repetitions per attempt until you reach your limit. Rest well and do the final approach to the maximum. Practice this workout every other day at most. The program for increasing the pull-ups should be fixed on a piece of paper. The practice has shown that this way the brain perceives information better, and it is much more convenient for you to control your process. The training diary has never harmed anybody, do not forget about the correct breathing when pulling up. If you inhale and exhale the air as you want, you will not have a proper training system. Experienced athletes understand this well, and beginners should pay attention to this point. So, once again about how to breathe when pulling up. Do not hold the air, breathe continuously during the whole exercise. As you exhale we tense your muscles and lift yourself, as you inhale we lower yourself back down. If you try to breathe backward the breath will not help you raise your body to the bar. On the contrary, this way of breathing interferes with the properly coordinated work of the lungs and muscles. Train yourself to breathe out as much as possible to help yourself. Then everything will become much easier, with proper breathing when you pull up when you pull your elbows to the body your body narrows due to the exhalation, and when you lower the body down it becomes wider again due to the inhalation. There is no need to interfere with the natural process and torture your respiratory system. Achieve improvement in pulling up on the chinning bar can also be achieved by training with weights. The easiest option is to take a handy backpack and put a dumbbell or any other object in it. Now you can forget for a while about the number of repetitions and focus on the working weight. It is likely that after a month you will find that without the weight you can pull up in a half times more than before. In this technique, it is also very important to make a program for increasing the number of pull-ups. It is better to schedule your working weights for a month ahead of time after each workout. Plans will need to be edited, for example, you have inadequately estimated forces and in a month wrote yourself pulling up with a weight of 45 kg. 
Of course, in a month you will pull up 5 to 6 times more with only 10 kg. To begin with, you need to do a test workout put 5 kg in your backpack, and do maximum pull-ups in pure technique. Now you know how much you can pull up with this weight, start from that and gradually increase the working weight. Pulling up to the max will give you a general idea of what you can do. Don't feel sorry for yourself. Squeeze all you can out of your body. When you work with weights, warming up before the pull-up is doubly imperative to avoid damaging anything on the bar. You need to warm up well, you can warm up by jogging. What is the main problem with pull-ups? Sometimes people engaged for a long time come to a plateau something does not allow them to increase their results. For the sake of increasing pull-ups they train every day, but all in vain. Here it is important to understand the following point. The pull-up workout affects several muscle groups, these are the biceps and back. You can have strong biceps, but the back is weak or vice versa any of the muscle groups can lag behind in development. And when you reach a certain number of reps this difference can become critical. Maybe all the time up to that moment you were pulling up at the expense of your arm strength, in this case, you should increase the training volume of your back. And the opposite situation is if your back is strong, but your arms are not. How to increase the number of pull-ups? You need to focus on your arms. The key to increasing the number of pull-ups in this case is to train your biceps. Do pull-ups with a narrow reverse grip in partial amplitude. You can also additionally perform exercises with dumbbells or barbells. It is very good when you feel all the target muscles during any exercise. Then you can easily understand what works and what doesn't and direct the situation in the right direction. You shouldn't set your sights on others, everyone is different, especially in terms of physiology. Any record you make is a celebration of achievement. If others are doing 15 pull-ups and you're only doing 5 so far, you've got no problem. You just have to work harder and you'll get results. Ideally, you should not care how many pulls your neighbor on the bar. As they say, compare yourself only with yourself yesterday. Back at school, many people pull up jerkily and swing often pulling their necks to be counted as a repeat. Lifting your head above the bar makes no sense you're not loading your latitude muscles. And no matter how fast you progress in terms of reps the result in terms of muscle development will be zero if these reps are unclean. As for pure reps and the speed of progression, their endurance limits depend very much on the genetic features of your body. Probably, you've noticed that someone recovers much faster at the same load and reaches new physical records quicker. So even if you are not the most natural endurance person, you can compensate for your genetic features by persistence and competent building of exercises. And what is your maximum in pull-ups? Write in the comments to see who is the strongest. Thank you for watching this video to the end, we hope it was interesting. If you liked the video give us a like, and subscribe to the channel there will be a lot of useful information.